Hey, you, I need you to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Hey, what's your name? Sherry. Sherry? Yeah. Sherry and? Judy. Judy? Joy. And Joy. Sherry, Joy. Jackie. And Jackie. All right, Jackie, I know you know, but I'm going to ask these sisters because you missed it. Should we continue to sing? No. What about what you say? No. Should we continue to sing? No. No. All right, what about you? I never said to continue to sin. I said, but you can't, in order to have a person to be able to change, they have to be forgiven. And yes, they're going to pay a price, but they also need that time to change. That's all I was saying. I didn't we, say they weren't, we, we, they didn't that's sin. What you're saying, as far as the time we need to change, that's yes. what the grace is for. Yes. Brothers have yes. thoroughly gone yes. through yes. that. Yes, that's, all right? that's, all, that's all I was saying. Can you stay the same? With the Lord on my side, he gonna keep me on that straight path. That's what I know. Is it permitted for you to stay the same in this grace period, or should you change? The God got to do the changing. He that lives in Do me you have to do anything? Is greater than he is in the world. Do you do you have to do anything? I have to be willing to obey. But the thing Matthew's with it is, the only thing I have to say, my testimony is this, and this is, I don't know everything and I never will. I'm like Paul, even though I think I know everything, Are I found out I don't know nothing. It's a simple question. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? What I got to say? All right, it's a simple question. Yes. Do you need to change? I know that I have to change because he said I have to change. All right, read what you got, read what you got. Uh, okay, so you know you need to change. Yes, he said you All right. have to be transformed. We on the same, we don't, so this grace yes. period is for you to change. That transformation, right. To change, right? Yes. Something that you also have to put some effort to do. That's right. We on the same page? Right. Y'all yes. agree with that? Yes. Everybody agree with that. All right, read what you got. Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Right. The Bible tells us to be perfect. What makes us perfect? God's laws, right? Not knowing them, but keeping them. Just real quick, say there, say there. Read that again, bro, real fast. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. That's a common, what you said, sister, that's a common, um, a, a common misconception that Christianity instills in us, that God is going to do the changing. God, God already did the change when he created you a child of his. That's right. right. He already put his spirit in you, sister. Teach. You understand? And we cover it by the things of this world, the ungodliness of this world. He said, read it again. Be ye therefore perfect. So that doesn't sound like God is doing the changing. That's what Christ just said. You do the changing. That's just right. like Christ, become what your father is in heaven. That's, right. That's what he said. That's on you. That's not on God. I agree with That's you. That's not on God. I agree on that. That's I not what you said, God, though, sister. I said with God with me, with his help, no, I can't. I'm going to tell you exactly what you I said. I need his help. You said I God got to do the say. changing. Yes. That's exactly yes. what you said. Yes. Read it again. Verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. He said you got to be perfect. He didn't say God going to do it. You have to do it. God is going to kill you when he sees you. That's right. what God going to do. Right. You don't want to deal with God until you get yourself ready, prepared to see the king. Yes, you don't want to see him right now. So you don't want him to deal with you right now. Because if he deal with you, he's going to deal with you based on what you don't understand yet. That's how he's going to deal with you. So what you got to do is get yourself perfect. Right. Perfect. Psalms 19. Oh, uh, you want that? You want to just, just to close off with that. All right. Psalms 19. The book of Psalms, where you at? 19 and 7. Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So the Bible tells you that what makes you perfect? We just read it. Yes, you already said obeying the laws of God. Obeying the laws of God. That's the same message that we've been teaching. Right. The same message. It hasn't changed. So, brother, From there, if you die today, First Corinthians are you chapter three. Okay. All right, and then I want Deuteronomy chapter twenty-two and verse five. All right, uh, sixteen. All right, because you agree, we shouldn't continue to break God's laws, right? You agree. You agree, right? We shouldn't continue to break God's oh. laws, right? All right, read what you got. First Corinthians chapter three, verse sixteen. Come on. Know ye not? That ye are the temple of God? So the Bible says that us, the children of Israel, we're God's temple, right? Not the churches that you see, the churches we go to, the schools, the institutions, all those things, our centers of learning, right? 
the, the scripture says that we're God's temple, right? What, what were you saying? I, I couldn't hear you. But I don't know where it says it, but it says whenever there's two, more than, there's two or more gathered in his name, that is true. It says that. That's going into judgment, but that's dealing with something. I know what you're talking about, right? Right? It's going into judgment, right? But uh, what we're talking about right now is your actual, your body, all right? The body that God gave you. Come on. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So God says, if we defile our temple, he'll destroy us, right? What are some ways we defile our temple today? Right? By eating unclean foods. You understand? That's defiling your temple. Uh, getting tattoos on your body. That's defiling your temple. Right. You understand? All these different types of uncleanness, different types of uncleanness, all right? Some brothers and sisters are into uh, having sexual relations while a woman is, and she has a flower, she's on her period. You understand? That's that's defiling your temple, of course. It's nasty, right? You look at right. it like that's disgusting. But that's in the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? So these are different ways that we defile our temple. Cigarettes, black and mouth smoking, you understand? That's how we defile our, you understand what I'm saying? No, no, I, I'm not saying that you're going to hell. You, I'm con condemning you. I'm not saying that you, you don't know that either. Sis. That's why we out here. If you knew that you was going to hell, you was condemned. You wouldn't be here standing listening to us right now. That's you right. understand? You, there's still some hope for you. That's left, right? You, you deep down on the inside, you don't want that destruction. I, I know you don't. All right? right, and it's okay. You ain't got to tell me that, but I know you don't. All right. Um. So for you, sister, for both of y'all, Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse five, smoking cigarettes, defiling your temple. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. All right, another simple law, right? This keeps us holy, right? This is, during this grace period, we should fix these types of things, all right? So sometimes women wear things that pertain to men. In America, oftentimes, what is that? Stay with me. Pants, right? No question. This is easy. Common sense arithmetic, right? So... Women should not wear pants as men should not do what? Wear dresses, right? Finish that. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. All right. Both of y'all have some wisdom. Got some understanding. This stuff is not hard, right? Easy. Should women wear pants? No, they should not. The Bible says, should a, uh, uh, a man wear a dress? Is that okay? No, it's not. Why? Because the Bible says so. All right, tattoos, uh, smoking cigarettes, uh, uh, all those different types of unclean foods. Should we consume that? No. Why? Because the Bible says that we shouldn't do that. All right. John chapter 1, verse uh, 15 to 17. All right. Because we should not continue to sin. The Bible says don't do that. Right? Read. John chapter 1 and verse 17. 17. For the law was given by Moses. All right, the Bible says that the law was given by Moses, right? What law was given by Moses? The law was given by Moses, all right? The commandments, right? Some of the laws were, help me out. Thou shalt not, thou shalt not kill, steal, thou shalt love honor thy father and mother, all thy heart, all right? Heart and soul. Love thy neighbor and thyself. Right, on, you shall not do what? Cover thy neighbor's wife. What's that called? Cheating or what does the Bible call it? Uh, well, if we're ma if I'm married, you married. It's all good. If I'm married, you married, right? And we step outside that marriage. The Bible calls that what? The Bible. You spoke. You spoke of it earlier today. Oh, about the adultery. Right. Yes. That's adultery, right? Yes. So all these things are found in the Bible. All right. So Hebrews chapter ten. We're gonna come back there. So hold it. Hebrews chapter 10. What are we talking about right now? We're talking about the law. And the law that Moses gave, right? And the laws that we still keep today. There has to be some difference between the two, right? What is it? We're going to help you, help give you some more understanding on, on the times, all right? And the times we're living in right now under Christ. Read what you got. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 1. For the law having a shadow of good things to come. All right, so what law was this? The law of animal sacrifice. That's, right. That's what we're talking about right now. Jump to verse 28. Jesus is the truth. Verse 28, he that despised Moses' law. So the Bible says he that despised Moses' law. All right, Moses had a law and said, thou shalt not commit adultery, right? Am I right or am I wrong? Y'all with me, right? Moses had a law that said that, right? Come on. Died. 
without mercy under two. Read it again from the top. He that despised Moses' law. Right, so if you did not take heed to Moses or listen to him, some of the commandments that he told you to keep, come on. Died without mercy. The Bible says that he died without mercy. Y'all understand what that means? Was he given a second chance? Was there grace there for that man that despised Moses' law? All right. Say it again. Grace did not come to Jesus, right? There was sprinkles of grace in the Old Testament, right? But now we have we live in a time where you can completely get a fresh start. You understand what I'm saying? Each one of us today, by keeping God's commandments, all right? From there, read it again from the top. Hebrews 10 and 28. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. So if I was caught in adultery under Moses' law, what would be my judgment? Yeah. Right. How do you know that? Because it's in the law. All right. Read that for me. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 10. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 10. We're going to read that for you. All right. This is what the Bible says. And then I'm going to ask you why. All right. So prepare for that answer. Read what you got. Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 10. And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress. So the man and the woman, come on, shall surely be put to death. Shall what? Shall surely be put to death. So what's the judgment under Moses during during this time for committing adultery? Death. For who? For the man and the woman. For who? The man and the woman. For the man, not just the woman? No, he said the man and the woman. He, he said, who said that? So God, God said, said that. that. Yeah. You understand? Uh, the judgment is adult. The judgment for adultery is death to the man and the woman. Yeah. Why? That's my question. Why is that? Why well, is that? Why is that? Well, they had to agree to commit to sin together. They had to agree. Okay. They agreed to commit to sin together. All right. Read what you got. Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 22. Come on. And almost all things. Almost what? Almost all things are by the law. Are by what? By the law. Purged with blood. Purged with blood. That's why they had to be put to death. Because their blood had to be shed. You understand what I'm saying? Their blood. Their blood. You committed adultery. God says, I'm requiring your blood for payment. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? That's why they had to be put to death. Teach. Right? So is it okay now in today's time, since we're under grace, for me to have a wife and to be married, and for you to have a husband to be married, and for us to step outside of that? No. Because we're under grace. No. No, right? But am I going to get put to death? No. Why? We read it earlier. Well, the way I see it Hold is that, that Titus chapter 2. We read it earlier. We're going to go right back to the, where we were. Because of the shed blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who paid the ultimate price. All right, we're on the same page. We don't was, gotta get it. We're on the same page. Was pure enough All right. to cleanse the world from sin. Can I continue to commit adultery? No. No. No, I can't. John no. chapter eight. All right, we're gonna read the story for you. John chapter eight. Bring it out. He said, "Go and sin no more." Correct. But we're gonna read it. All right. We're gonna read it for you so you know. All right. I, I and so that you can apply it. All I was saying is she didn't die that day because of the shed blood of Christ. Because he did this for people We're even gonna read in the future. It. John chapter 8, start at verse 4. But he said, John he chapter no 8 more. and verse 4. They say unto him, Master. I, I know you know, but I'm not sure if you really know. Oh, you I understand know. what this means? Read it again from the top. They say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery yep. in the very act. All right, what's wrong with this story? What's wrong with it? Tell me, I know you know the story because you told me the end already. So between the beginning and the end, what went wrong? She was caught. Tell me more, tell me more. She was caught and they already knew she was down there doing all that. And she got caught and they were tired of it. All right, we're gonna read the story because there's some details you're missing, all right? I want you to pay attention, read. Verse five, now Moses and the law commanded us. Now who? Moses and the law commanded us that such should be stoned but what sayest thou right because we read that in leviticus that right when you a man and a woman commits adultery right what should happen to them they should be put to death is it just a woman just a woman 
That's the only one they pulled out there. Why is that? Is that lawful? Is that? I thought. I thought the law said they both needed to get put to death. Why is it just a woman there? I don't know why they pulled him. Oh, uh, you don't know why. You understand? Why? Because these men weren't keeping the law. That's why they weren't keeping the law. All right. They weren't keeping it. All right, so we have examples of that in this Bible. Right. All right, now, is this how we should deal today? Should that woman should have just get, got put to death and the man just go for free? No, right? No, that's not just. That's not what the Bible says. Said, All right? The, the whole Bible is, is, hold on, stay with me. The whole Bible is about righteousness. Yeah. All right? It's about righteousness. Well, it's always been that way. You couldn't condemn her because when Jesus wrote in the ground, he right. said, you who don't, he'll have never seen, you throw the first stone. They convicted their own self. They know they were doing stuff in the dark. Right, right. They were, they were doing stuff that they weren't supposed to be That's doing. Right. But this, how they dealt with this woman was wrong from jump. It was wrong they from jump. Correct. They were hypocrites because they were doing what? They what makes a person a hypocrite? They won't do it right themselves. Right, but they were teaching others to do what? They were teaching them to do whatever you want to do long you don't get caught. Right, but they should have been keeping God's law and teaching God's law. Not just teaching it and not keeping it. You understand what I'm saying? Right. That's where they were wrong. Right. right. But in order for there to be righteousness, there has to be law. That's Without right. law, there's no accountability. That's you right. can't hold anyone accountable to anything. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Read. This they said tempting him that they might have to accuse him right. but jesus stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground right so this is the part you're talking about jesus stooped down with his finger come on and, and wrote on the ground as though he heard them not he didn't pay him any attention right come on so when they continued asking him he lifted up himself right. and said unto them he that is without sin among you let him first cast the stone at her Right, because the Bible says, or Christ just said right now in his Bible, all right, any one of you that's standing here asking me this question, if you have never committed sin before, then I want you to throw the first stone at her. You understand what I'm saying? Right, so what does that tell you today? What does that tell you? That tells you that all the nation of Israel has sinned, right? And we all say everybody on that side has sinned, right? That's an acknowledgement of that, right? Because all the leaders, the Pharisees during the time, what happened? What did they do? Read. And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one. They were convicted of their own conscience because they knew they had transgressed the law. And they left one by one. No one picked up a stone to throw it at her because they had sinned before, right? Come on. Beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. Read. And Jesus was left alone, Come on. and the woman standing in the midst, Come on. when Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? All these men out here that accused you of adultery, where they at? Right? Where, where did they go? They left. Why? Because their conscience condemned them. Come on. Hath no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. No man condemned her, right? No man. Come on. Condemned her to what? To what? You can't say to correction because Christ corrects her. Right? So there's a difference between correction and condemnation. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Read. She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Neither do I what? Neither do I condemn thee. No, Christ said he don't correct her. Condemn thee. Condemn her to what? To death. To death. Come on. Yeah. Go. And sin no more. What did the Bible say? Go and sin no more. Don't continue to break God's laws. You understand? That's what Christ said to her. Don't continue to break my laws. Why? Because something else would happen to her. Judgment would come. Death would eventually come. Time would run out. Right? So within this grace period that we have, what do we need to do? What do we need to do? We need to get ourselves right with the Lord. Thank you. Acts chapter 13, all right? Yes, sir. Acts chapter 13, all right? We have this opportunity now to get ourselves right, all right? Not to play around with this grace period that we have. It's tempting. I know the sky ain't cracked yet. You understand? You waking up. You still eating every day, right? But it's 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 time is is, is running out. You ever seen the hourglass? It ain't much sand left in that thing. All right, read what you got. Acts chapter 13, verse 38. Bring it on. Be it known unto you, therefore, 
men and brethren, come on. that through this man, through who? Jesus Christ, come on, is preached unto you the forgiveness of sin. So now we have forgiveness of sins through Christ because he died for the nation of Israel, all right? His blood was shed for us because we've committed sins that are punishable by death. Does that mean we continue to do the... No, that's all we're telling you, sister. That's that's what we... But no, no, what you were saying at first, what you were saying at first is that you didn't have to change, you didn't have to keep the laws, all right? There's laws that you need to keep and you can do them. You don't need God to come down from heaven and make you do it. There's laws that you can do now. You can stop committing certain sins now because you have the power to do it. That's right. All right? I said, if you do commit sin, I said the Lord is gracious enough to forgive you of those sins and cleanse you from all righteousness. I didn't say keep breaking the law, but don't condemn yourself because you are weak and he'll make you strong. You might make another mistake and another mistake. You have to give those people the same grace that he gave you. In other words, the opportunity and the time to make mistakes, but still... We're not condemning forward. anybody. Yeah, we're warning. Forward. We're correcting. We're doing the same thing Christ did. All, all right? right. We're, we're, all we're doing the same thing that Christ did. All right? The law, I, the the law, the, the law that we're teaching is that a woman should dress like this. A man should carry himself like this. A man should deal with his wife like that. You understand? These are the things that we're teaching. But if you continue to reject this knowledge, you're going to be destroyed. All right? You're, you're going to be destroyed, all right? Finish that scripture. I'm open to all Verse 39. And by him, all that believe are justified from all things, from which ye could not be justified by the law of Moses. Under Moses, there was required a sac under the sacrificial covenant, right? If you committed a sin that was punishable by death under that sacrificial covenant, your blood was now required. You understand? Now through Christ, your blood isn't required. Right. But what is required is your life. You owe him. Yes. All right? Payment is yes. for you to, yes. to, to live your life according to his word. Yes. All right? Why? Because Christ kept the commandments. He taught the commandments. All right? Christ would not be pleased with you right now, all right, if he came down and you had a Christian cross on your neck. He wouldn't be pleased with that because the Bible tells us that that's idolatry, yes, all right? The, the, that, that symbol is connected to this man that teaches you that you don't have to keep any of God's commandments. That's, right. that, that's what that means. That's, and, and, and even further, right? The, the, the doctrine that that symbol teaches is that a woman can wear shorts and pants. You understand? So you're subscribing to this white man's religion come when on. you come out here like that. Jesus. You're supposed to be a princess dressed like a daughter of Sarah. Right. You understand? You're supposed to, you're supposed to have a... Hold on. on right. On all right. These, and, and and this this, this, isn't, this isn't to destroy you. This is to, to, to enlighten you on this because you're better than that, sister. You're better than that cross on your neck. Right? You're better than those pants. You're better than that, sister. I asked you if you, if you died right now, today, would you go to hell? Laws will. You said hopefully. Laws will. I don't say hopefully because my hope is in Christ Jesus. If I die this moment, this time, I know I'm going we, we to not, have We're not gonna go going to go into it, sister. The, the brother's already read scriptures about keeping the commandments. I have no doubt. He already doubt. read them already. So I'm we're not going to go into Christ. it, all right? I was know I'm going, going to heaven if I die today. Uh, Hebrews, I know it because it's in my and then heart. 26. I know right, I'm going to heaven. Because Jesus said, I need to leave you nor forsake you. And they shall fall away to, the to renew them again. Right. So I'm these are talking about brothers that understand the truth. They understand. Now, they've tasted, Lord. right, of 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 of, of what God. the true and Bible and tells us, right? So I know sister, I'm don't get upset. All we're doing is teaching the Bible, sister. Calm down. Calm down. I know I'm going to heaven if I die right now. But Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He has my whole life and preaching his hand. I am going to heaven if I die now. I know I'm going to heaven if I die now. Glory be to God. To renew them again unto repentance. Sing. That's if you learn thou shalt not kill, then you kill. You learn that a, you learn that you should not dress like a man and you're a woman. But you continue to dress like a man. Come on. Sing. They crucified to themselves the Son of God afresh. You crucify who? The Son of God afresh. So when you reject God's laws, you crucify Christ, your Lord and Savior, all over again. That's you put him right back on that cross. You understand? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision 
The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.